Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use an over the range microwave. In this video, I will be demonstrating some of the most basic functions and also some of the more advanced functions of this over the range microwave. Now, although I will be demonstrating how to use this specific over the range microwave, you can probably take this information and use it on your own over the range microwave, even if it is not this exact model. That is simply because the majority of over the range microwaves operate in very similar ways and have very similar functions. All right, with that being said, let's get right to the tutorial. If you take a look right here, this is the handle on the door of the microwave. You can simply pull it to open this up and then push it to close it. That is how you load food into the microwave and also remove food from the microwave, okay? Now let's say that I wanted to heat up food that was in the microwave. I can use the timer. That is one of the most basic functions of an over the range microwave, okay? So to, to start the timer, you simply have to put the numbers. So let's say I wanted to, uh, to put the timer on for two minutes, I would push two, zero, zero. As you can see, it says two minutes. And to start the microwave, I would push enter start right here. Now the microwave has turned on. It is, heat, it is heating up the imaginary food and the timer is counting down. Now when the timer has finished counting down, the microwave will turn off. It will stop heating up the food and the microwave will beep to allow you to know that the food is ready. Okay, now if you want to stop the timer before it has finished, you can push the stop clear button right here. Just like that. As you can see, the timer has been paused and the over the range microwave has stopped heating up the imaginary food. If I wanted to start it again and continue the timer, I would push the start button right here. Okay, now let's say that I wanted to, to pause the timer and then clear the timer. Let's say that I wanted to stop heating up the food completely right about now. I would stop it and that puts it on pause and then I can push that button again, the stop clear button, just to clear the timer. Just like that, as you can see, the timer has been cleared. So that is the most basic functionality of an over the range microwave. This microwave right here has this plus 30 seconds button, so you can just push it to quickly add 30 seconds to the timer, just like that. You can continually add 30 seconds to the timer, just like that. And I'm just gonna clear the timer right now, just like that. So that is basically the most basic functionality of the microwave. Now, into some of the more advanced functions. Right here, there are some cooking presets, and this is uh, available on I would say a good portion of over the range microwaves. Now there are preset cooking presets, obviously, that you can choose from. So kids meals, if I wanted to choose a specific kids meal, I could refer to the manual and I could choose the kids meal that each of these numbers is referring to. I could select it just like that. Let's say I wanted the fourth one and then I could push the start button and it would go for a preset amount of time at a preset heat at a preset heating level, okay? I'm just gonna clear that. There's also sensor cooking options up here. So if you take a look, it says popcorn, potato, pizza, cook, reheat, and veggies. So I can choose between all of these options and it will use a sensor to figure out when the microwave should stop heating up the food, depending on which one I have selected and depending on the presets that are in the microwave's computer. So that is basically all, all, everything that involves the actual microwave. Now, an over the range microwave has some added functionality. There is a vent underneath. I'm just gonna move the camera down. There is a vent underneath and there are also lights underneath. So these buttons deal with the vents, uh, the vent and the lights. Now there's also a button over here that just deals with the turntable. That is for the turntable inside of the microwave. You can cycle it on and off. But these buttons here deal with the vent and the lights. So right here it says set timer. I can set a timer to allow the lights to turn on and off at specific times every day automatically. 
But that's, I would say, one of the more advanced functionalities. And I, that's, it's something that not everyone uses. But the majority of, of people in a kitchen will use the lights themselves in the most basic way. Now, how do you use the lights themselves? Well, there's a button right here that says high, low, off. That will cycle through the different settings for the lights. And I'm just going to press it right now. You'll see that the lights will turn on onto the high mode, just like that. Then I'm going to push it again. They will go to low mode, just like that. And then off one more time, just like that. Okay. Very, very simple, very, very easy to use and operate. Now, if you take a look right here, these deal with the vent. Okay. So basically I can turn the vent on and off through this button and then I can cycle through the speeds with this button right here. I'm just going to move this up so you can see uh, what it shows up here. So I'm going to turn the vent on and you will hear it turn on just like that. Okay. Now the vent is on. As you saw before, it was level two. I'm going to cycle through the other speeds. Level three, you can hear it get louder and level four, you can hear it get quite loud. And it's really, really powerful. So it's really gonna, you know, get everything away from the stove area, all of the, the, uh, the fumes away from the stove area. Then we go to level one and then back at level two. And I'm just gonna leave it at level two and I'm gonna turn it off. Just like that. It's literally that simple. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to use an over-the-range microwave. It's a really simple process, and just as I said before, I have demonstrated the functionality and the usage of this specific model. I have shown you how to use this specific model. However, the majority of over-the-range microwaves are very, very similar, so you can probably take this information and apply it to your own over-the-range microwave, even if it isn't this exact exact model. And that's basically it. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.